Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Zayner and this is my vlog 8-Bit Homo and on this week's episode we're going to be talking about Ignorance 101. Now I don't know about you but I get really annoyed when I see fellow gay men and lesbians and you know just straight allies use the word faggot and gay as if it's still cool. He did what? That is so gay. Dude, I'm not a faggot. I really shouldn't have to remind people that it's 2013 and using the word faggot is not cute anymore. It's just as cute as Crocs or the deathly combo of socks and sandals. I still really don't understand why people still use terms like that today and they know that it's not a really good term to be using in the first place. By using the negative connotation of these words, you're further perpetuating the stigma that our society is less than those around us. And if you try to defend the use of these words by saying, well, I'm not meaning it in a gay way, tell that to the hundreds of LGBTQ teenagers who commit suicide every year. Sure, among your friends, the word gay may mean stupid. Then why not just say stupid? When you're using a word that has been historically used to identify an entire segment of the population, and then you use it for a different meaning, you're attributing that new meaning to that old use of the word. Words can be a very powerful thing, especially on someone's identity, and especially when you're attributing those identities to negative connotations. So stop using words like gay and faggot as a synonym for stupid, because it's not. Another thing that I'd love to talk about is sexual identities, and it's that it's a very fluid and free system. One man's gay may not be the same as another man's gay. Same with one woman's straight may not be the same as another woman's straight. We can't keep thinking of sexual identity in a very binary sense. Sure, there's heterosexuality, and yes, there's homosexuality, but that is just two of many different identifiers for people's sexual orientation. And hell, some people don't even like to identify their sexual orientation, and that is completely okay. When someone identifies as bisexual, pansexual, omnisexual, asexual, accept them for who they are. They've went through, are going through, or are going to go through a very similar journey like we did when we came to terms with our sexual orientation. And that does not mean that they are, or ever will be, anything that we identify as. Stop using terms like bisexuality isn't real. Because it is. The entire notion of a sexual orientation is something that you identify as. One day I could be gay, the next I could be queer. It doesn't matter. I like what I like. That's why it's really disheartening when I read comments in the LGBTQ community about how anything that's outside of gay or lesbian isn't real. Yeah, he says he's bi, but let's be real, he's actually gay. He said he's straight. He is the gayest thing I've ever seen. It's ignorant comments like these that aren't helping anyone out. If someone says that they're bisexual, goddammit they're bisexual. If someone says that they're straight, you better believe they're straight. If they're confused about their sexuality, let them be confused about it. That's not your job to determine whether or not that they should know who they are. As people outside of what they're going through, it's our job to make sure that we are creating a comfortable environment for them to be who they want to be. Not by putting really damaging labels and putting really damaging thoughts on these people's own identities. Being bisexual, pansexual, omnisexual, asexual, and the list goes on and on is just as valid as any other sexual orientation. The same mentality can also be carried over to transphobia. If she identifies as a woman, you better believe she's a woman. If he identifies as a man, then you better fucking call him a man. Because you were not put on this earth to determine whether or not someone is a man or a woman. We just have to accept each other with open arms and just embrace each other's identities. Or lack thereof. Hopefully you guys picked up a little bit of knowledge in this video. This is one video out of a series for hashtag Sig Squad for our social justice week. For those of you who don't know what Sig Squad is, it's kind of this cool live talk show that's hosted by a bunch of different YouTubers and myself every Friday. I'll put more information about it below. All of you stay beautiful and I'll see you next week. First, I'd like to thank my friends and family. Without your guys' support, I would not be here where I am today. And I cannot thank you guys enough for just the overwhelming amount of support I've been having in both my career, you know, in school, in basically every facet of my life. 